Wing Chun versus Jeet Kune Do. If you have watched this channel for any amount of time, you'll know that we talk a lot about Bruce Lee. It's for good reason, though. Martial arts as a whole has existed for thousands of years, a truly unique yet deadly symbol of culture, class, and warfare. But when Bruce Lee came along in the mid-1900s, he single-handedly shook the very foundation of martial arts. By combining philosophy with physics, he demonstrated that by not restricting yourself to a certain art or style, you could become a much more efficient fighter. It was the birth of Jeet Kune Do. But even Bruce Lee had an origin story. He didn't start off being the all-encompassing, shapeless fighter that we see in the movies. While living in China, Lee trained with legendary Wing Chun master Ip Man. Many in the martial arts community regarded Wing Chun as art form as a woman's style of fighting, since it was developed by Buddhist nun Ning Mui. However, with a focus of rapid striking, linear movements, and trapping, Master Ip excelled and showed Bruce Lee exactly how much ferocity could be found in the art. It was with Wing Chun Kung Fu where Lee's passion for martial arts started. So naturally, it begs the question, does one excel over the other? Yes, Lee may have taken some of the essentials from Wing Chun and made them into his own style, but does it still hold a candle to how Ip Man would have fought? As a matter of fact, if Lee and Master Ip were to spar, whose style would come out on top? It's quite hard to say as Jeet Kune Do and Wing Chun have their differences. Let's break it down a bit. Before we get to detailed in the which is better questions, we need to define the arts. Wing Chun Kung Fu. This martial art is characterized by lightning fast arm strikes and blocks, strong leg support, and a prioritization of hits and defense along the vertical center line of the body. It requires the practitioner to be loose and relaxed while keeping the strength to fight back. Jeet Kune Do. Developed by Bruce Lee, Jeet Kune Do is a philosophy of martial arts that teaches the principles of simplicity, directness, and freedom. While teaching practitioners some core moves taken from various other art forms, the purpose is to make the combative art form into something that is unique to the individual. Bruce Lee himself said, research your own experience, absorb what is useful, reject what is useless, add what is essentially your own. When viewed from a distance, it is obvious that they both have some big similarities as well as glaring differences. So the best way to go about comparing and contrasting them would be to look at the various elements which go into combat. Here are a few categories. Speed. Being quick is essential for any martial arts. But for both Wing Chun and Jeet Kune Do, it is part of the foundations that make those arts what they are. So how do they differ? Are either of them faster than the other? Wing Chun. One of the most important elements in Wing Chun is speed. This is found in the relaxed nature of the practitioner, the short linear movements of the strikes, and the minimal movement that a person would need to defend. Ip Man compared it to being relaxed, yet strong like bamboo. Jeet Kune Do. What better proof do you need than Bruce Lee himself? The founder of the martial art had to purposely slow down his moves so that the cameras could properly film him. Although Jeet Kune Do is known for taking various elements of other art forms, the principles of Wing Chun are used in relation to the principle of speed. Here's the thing. Jeet Kune Do takes the principle of speed and applies it along with other things to form a hybrid that would be unique to the practitioner. Whereas with Wing Chun, Every single move was crafted around this principle, punches, traps, blocks, or dodges. Being ingrained into the very fabric of the art form makes it more effective for the practitioners. One point for Wing Chun. Power. Every martial art tries to find that fine line where speed and power are perfectly in balance. Too much speed and you'll sacrifice power. Too much power, you'll sacrifice speed. 
Have either of these styles sacrificed too much of one for the other? Wing Chun. We've already covered that Wing Chun is huge on speed, but another of its main focuses is close quarter combat. Here, things like elbows, knee strikes, and traps are the key players, and they are powerful. With so much torque, a 100-pound man can use his elbow to generate enormous amounts of power. Jeet Kune Do. One thing Jeet Kune Do was known for was how to generate power. Look at everything from Bruce Lee's sidekicks to his famous one-inch punch. Every technique was made to bring every possible ounce of power out of the practitioner and direct it into the opponent. Wing Chun, as great and beautiful as it is, was made more for speed and quick neutralization of targets, but it employs very little in the way of kicks, which is one of the strongest things a martial artist do. Jeet Kune Do, on the other hand, has a good kicking game, punching game, and close combat game. Just as speed is ingrained to every Wing Chun artist from the beginning, so is power in every Jeet Kune Do practitioner. Point goes to Jeet Kune Do. Versatility. Anyone who knows anything about fighting and combat will agree that an ability to adapt is crucial to not getting your face caved in during a fight. Boxing, karate, muay thai, Brazilian jiu-jitsu, savate, they all have different methods and techniques. Can one style cover all of them? Wing Chun. The linear fighting style mixed with fast chain punches and traps is meant to inundate an opponent with rapid attacks. Jeet Kune Do. Be formless, shapeless, like water. This famous quote from Bruce Lee perfectly describes the versatility of Jeet Kune Do. Here, practitioners make sure they developed adaptability and ability to utilize techniques that would best ward against any number of scenarios. Kicking, grappling, evasion, they are all in the arsenal of a Jeet Kune Do martial artist. Once again, we see that Wing Chun lacks versatility over Jeet Kune Do, as it is very grounded and straightforward. Jeet Kune Do, on the other hand, teaches everything from linear movements to circular movements, whatever it takes to adapt to whatever situation you may find yourself in. It is the entire reason that Jeet Kune Do was created. Point goes to Jeet Kune Do. While we know there are many other categories out there that could be examined, the overall picture shows that an ability to become the best fighter possible based on your own strengths will win the day. The philosophy as well as the physics teach that power is derived from more than just technique. It is a mindset that will manifest in physical form, a form that will punch you. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the post notification and hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.